So I want to start this video by talking about how to get Twin Motion. Um, in a school system, you could uh, create an installer and install it by itself. Uh, it is fully self-contained, uh, but uh, I'm going to go through it as if uh, you wanted to install it on your computer or if you want to work with students who may be at home doing uh, e-learning while, you know, uh, a hybrid model with everything that's going on currently with the COVID crisis. So that way they know how to also install it. And so it's very simple. You just go to Unreal Engine and uh, I'll copy that. And well, before you do this, really what you want to do is you want to install. So this will pretty much make you download the Epic installer, which is right here. So what you want to do is uh, go get the uh, Epic Game Launcher. Okay, and install it. We'll go down here, and as you can see, I already have it installed. So you basically just install it, and once you install it, you will see that you will have the option to. I'm gonna just log out here. Give me a second. I'm going to show you that now, as of uh, very recently, Epic has finally allowed multiple sign-ins. So that, uh, and one of the reasons, you know, we, I was on several uh, meetings with them is because uh, school boards and a lot of people like us who work in schools don't want the kids to have multiple logins because it causes all kinds of issues. So uh, they've allowed multiple logins. And in our case, in our school board, we use uh, uh, the Google domain. So then you can just click in here, log in with your domain, and you're there. So as you can see, I'm just going to open this up. Give me a second. So once you get into the Epic Launcher, um, the Unreal Engine is here, but it's not a tie to Unreal Engine. So Unreal Engine or Epic Games purchased Twin Motion, but it's actually a separate software. But it's actually it's kind of like a uh, easier version of Unreal Engine. Like this is kind of like the grade one to eight you know, curriculum, and this is like grade nine to university, okay? So that's kind of a, a very crude way to uh, to compare it. But uh, so to install your Twin Motion, you basically just launch it. And as of a, as of a couple of weeks ago, they updated it. So that's another thing to keep in mind as you move forward. Um, these softwares are often updated. I find it, for me, it's usually easier if I start the school year with one model and maybe when the semesters change, you know, in January, I'll sometimes change it if I have time. Uh, but they are updated regularly, and it's cloud-based technology. Okay, so once you click Launch, it'll install it onto your computer. And I already have it, so I'm just going to click on it. And uh, I'll go through a, uh, some settings uh, uh, for it. Give me a sec. So here you see it's the education version. That's really important because it's free for education. Now, if you are a, an architecture firm or a builder and you want to use this tool, you would have to pay. Uh, you can go to their website. I don't know how much it is. But uh, the thing that's great with uh, Epic Games is they're really open to education and making things free because they know that uh, the only way to get students ready for the future is to use the tools of the future. And if we can't afford them, nobody will bother. It's already a big enough challenge just to learn how to use them. Okay. So the first thing that it asks you when you pop, it pops up is how to navigate. And I'll just keep the twin motion settings. And I think they're the same as the Unreal. But you see all the different products that uh, often work with this. Revit, 3ds Max, ArchiCAD, Cinema 4D, SketchUp, or Rhino. So I know in our school system, we uh, do SketchUp. Um, and I've, some people also do Revit, all right? So these programs are, are, are all built in. So you see how to navigate. It works a lot like any 3D space. Uh, your WASD keys and the Q and E keys, which are anybody who's worked in Unreal Engine or any other 3D software would know. And the arrow keys, if you like, okay? So we're going to click on that. The first thing I want to do, and we'll briefly go through this in this video, are the settings, okay? So if you look under... So I'll briefly go over settings, which are under preferences. So under the edit panel, 
control P is the hotkey. And I'll just briefly talk about one thing in this video. I'll make another video to go more in detail on the settings. But under quality, uh, this is where, depending on your high school computers, you kind of see here uh, different, probably most high school computers, medium or low. And you can customize a few of these. And another thing that's really powerful is you can keep it on low and based on what you're doing, uh, you can sometimes raise it. And at the end, you can actually raise it at the end when you actually do your, your videos and it'll, uh, it'll just scale up, which is really powerful. Okay. Now, if you have a, a powerful computer like mine, uh, you could use dynamic resolution as well. And I'm going to leave it on high and click OK. And uh, there you are. You're in twin motion. So, uh, again, uh, highly recommend that uh, you play around with this before you uh, experiment with students. I think uh, that's the way to do it and test it on your computers before you start. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know.